Hey everybody, it's Bob. Uh, jumping off the tractor here. So, <laughs> I got a dirty tractor. Um, the dog. I've had a few questions about this. Um, this is just my uh, counterweight that I made. Uh, really simple design. I actually saw another video on YouTube on how to make it, but uh, um, anyway, um, I guess just to show you guys what it is, I took a smaller, I think they're actually 35 gallon barrels. Um, this one actually uh, had some chemicals in it of some sort for um, killing vegetation in ponds, I think, but uh, Anyway, it uh, doesn't matter, but uh, all I did is I cut the top out of the thing uh, here and, and uh, uh, I think I bought nine bags of concrete mix, just the uh, standard um, concrete mix. And then um, this, this piece here, um, I think, I'm trying to think where, I either bought that like a tractor supply or maybe I even got it with with the uh, quick hitch I can't remember for sure but uh, um, don't make fun of my pin set up there either but uh, use what you got at the time right <laughs> but uh, same with down here this one this one broke but uh, um, the other day we got our uh, got our roof re-shingled after the storm that went through um and uh needed to do some lifting of the shingles and and uh, uh up onto the roof for the contractor and and uh, so i threw the counterweight on there just because you know how much a pallet of shingles weighs and and no i was not able to lift the uh the whole pallet i i'm not sure exactly what that weight i i shouldn't say i couldn't lift it i could lift it but uh you know we're talking eight feet there um, to the edge of the roof and getting it all the way up in the air like that um, I just didn't feel comfortable so the guys that were working on the roof they threw about a quarter probably not even that many um, of the shingles onto a second pallet and uh, um, we uh, I lifted the other part on there too hold on I gotta yell at the dogs here Come on, dogs. Come on, dogs. Moose. <whistles> but uh, they like to go down there by that road. And, and oh, great. Moose is rolling and something down there. But uh, anyway, back to this thing. Um, I just threw the uh, counterweight on there just, you know, for a little extra lead in the butt, I guess. But, uh, um, but uh, I did buy this uh, this piece at uh, TSC um, and uh, cut a couple holes in the side of the barrel there just with the angle grinder. Um, put that through this piece here. Uh, there's a piece that sticks down off of this right here down into the concrete that also has holes in it. So I took a piece of uh, half inch rebar and bent that into a kind of a V shape and uh, wrapped it through the holes that are in this. So this, this, uh, this top part and the bar crossed are all connected in there. And then I just started uh, dumping the concrete in there, adding some water, mixing it up, dumping the concrete in there. You know, it was kind of a long process and it actually took more concrete than what I expected. Um, but, uh, I'm not sure exactly how much this weighs now, but, uh, it's, it's heavy. Um, I would say probably eight to 900 pounds in there. Um, but, uh, it, it does make a huge difference. If I'm moving heavy trees or anything with a grapple on too, uh, I like to throw it on. Um, my sister-in-law actually made me the coyote sticker there. <laughs> but uh, so I slapped one of those on there too and then I just painted the barrel black kind of cleaned it up um, 
but uh, super simple design anybody can make one of those if you got a, any way to cut the barrel that's really the only tricky part you know otherwise you just buy buy this bottom bar here and you can get both of these pieces I know you can buy them both like a tractor supply or any farm implement type uh, farm store probably um, where they have three point uh, pieces and parts and stuff like that but uh, um, like I said not gonna be super long video or anything um, but uh, I have had some questions on that uh, um, that barrel or the counterweight I should say but uh, um, I used to have the draw bar in there and the draw bar you can see where it kind of would rub on there um, but the nice thing about having the draw bar in there is the barrel would sit against that draw bar um, with it in the fully up position and it didn't rattle around near as much when you were you know uh, going like me I'm like on the trails and stuff pulling trees out and stuff like that and uh, it would keep that from uh, bouncing around quite as bad as without the draw bar in there you know it can it can move a little bit um, you know I could tighten things up a little bit make it a little bit more stable too but uh, um, you know what I mean I guess so um, anyway uh, I guess I don't know a whole lot else but uh, just wanted to make a quick video on that uh, for a couple guys that had asked questions on it and, and uh, I'm one of those weird guys that likes to clean tractor and and uh, it's so dry right now and at least in this part of the state that I'm at in northeast Nebraska we're in the middle of a pretty major drought here and the grounds I mean my yards just brown pretty much and and the grounds just cracking open and and uh, every time a car goes by on the gravel road all the dust rolls over and sticks to everything and, and then if you're driving around in the trees or anything like that all the dust just doesn't move it just sticks right there but uh, so I'm going to uh, clean this tractor up tonight and, and uh, I know there's a lot of guys that always make fun of the guys that like to keep their stuff clean and well maintained but uh, that's just me so you can make fun of me if you want to um, put it in the comments and uh, I'll get a kick out of reading that stuff but uh, um, once again, I guess if you like these kind of videos and and uh, with tractors and homesteading, things like that, uh, give me a thumbs up and, and uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that uh, bell icon so that you get notified when uh, when we post anything new. Um, I, I don't post a lot of things new, um, or a lot of new videos I should say. I don't do a weekly uh, one or anything like that, but uh, I do try to... Uh, put uh, you know one out every once in a while when people have questions for me but uh, for now that's all I got um, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, upcoming fall here and and uh, things are starting to wind down the trees are already losing their leaves and and uh, I think uh, unfortunately winter is gonna come early and um, I know I know harvest is going to come early. You can see the corn turning over there already. It's pretty crazy, but uh, it's been hot, dry, kind of a blast furnace type summer with the uh, wind blowing constantly and everything here. But uh, um, anyway, that's all I got. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.